Where do you go? There you go. On the record. Mr. Walsh, you call your next witness, please. Mr. Campbell? Mr. Richard Campbell? Please sit here, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Very well. Raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, all truth, and nothing but the truth? Right. State your name for the record. Richard Lee Gamble, Jr. Your witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Mr. Gamble. Good uh, You live in the state of Florida? Yes, sir. In which county do you live? Floyd County. And how long have you resided in Swanee County? About over 50, 37 years. And what is your occupation? I uh, have a pest control company and I'm a county commissioner for District 3 in Swanee County. Great. How long have you been a county commissioner for Swanee County? Uh, November, three years. And in the course of your, your service on the county commission, uh, you, did you obtain any knowledge about a uh, project known as the Klausner Sawmill? Yes, sir. And about how many acres is that property on? Uh, the sawmill is on 100 acres. Was there sink at, sinkhole activity at that sawmill? Yes, sir. And were the sinkholes filled in? Um, all the sinkholes that we had at the time were either grounded or fixed in whatever manner was recommended by the uh, engineer at the time. Uh, so by filled in, you're referring to uh, with grout? Some were grouted, some were put down, we were, were dug out, and then laid down with some uh, type of fabric that they had, and they go back in with, say, a, a couple of feet of clay, then another three feet of suitable material, and they would build it back up. But they were either grouted or filled in in that method. What would be the uh, the top layer of uh, cut material? Uh, uh, whatever they would consider suitable building material, as far as for placing under a pad. Which some great dirt in the head. What was the uh, top surface layer at before the. Uh, uh, is excavation the right word? Is it what was done out there? What we call it was cutting the field. What we had was a. We had a site that we had to bring. We had 100 acres that we had to bring up to uh, buildable, ready, the site, site ready for them to okay, start building. Uh, their site, their plans called for a three feet of build, uh, suitable building material suitable soil under <coughs> slabs. So when we did the soil borings, got out there. You know, Objection, I guess foundation, I'm trying to get the connection of his knowledge that he's representing about this sawmill. He's saying we, but he's a commissioner. He's the like county control. did all the site work, the prep work, clearing the grubbing for our um, developer's agreement with the company that came in. And then he's speaking to site development and site preparation, but he's there's no foundation that he's an engineer or qualified to do this outside of being an elected official of the state. We don't. We didn't get a foundation for you know, how Mr. Gamble came to be knowledgeable about all the things that are going on with this. I'm sorry, you already said we, we do not need that foundation? No, I'm saying we don't have it. Oh, okay, we don't have it. You just start asking about right. this, but we don't know why he would know. Okay. Uh, in the... Uh, is your residency near the Klausner uh, sawmill area? Yeah, within, I'd say, seven miles. Mm -hmm. And have you visited that site area? Oh, yeah, most of several times. All through the days of the construction, the boards, construction, board sharing, and through all phases of the entire project. Was the uh, county <coughs> commission uh, consulted before that project began? Oh, yes. Was the uh, you, uh, was the county commission uh, taking a sort of vote for that project to go forward? Oh, yes, sir. Did you participate in that yes, voting and deliberation? Uh, based on uh, your participation, did you at any point become aware that the top layer of clay was removed? Yes. And based on your observation, or perhaps documents submitted to you in your role as commissioner, uh, was there any resulting um, negative impact result objection the now the witness is basically being a mouthpiece for hearsay testimony ah. <coughs> these personal observations uh, or something like that the uh, 
Was that top clay surface removed? It, they, um, we went in and cut the county, went in and cut the top three feet of soil, which basically it was clay and lime rock. Okay. Um, once we done that, that top layer left, uh, the, once the clay was removed, then you had a lot of rock that was exposed. And then pretty much upon every rain that we had after that, we had sinkhole remediation that would be but eventually, was there any sequel formations on that property? I believe there was close to 15, 14 or 15. 15 or 16. Would you say that uh, some were larger than others? Yeah, some of them would be a chimney, no bigger than maybe a big round as a 55 gallon drum, but it may go down 30 feet. And some of them, we wound up excavating 60 foot circles and had to go back in and uh, build, the, build them back up after they were grounded and fabric put down. And did the uh, county incur any cost in building them back up? Your Honor, at this point, I this point point object to its relevance and or redundant testimony. It's been well established over now three days that Swanee Hamilton County has cars, that there are cars features such as sinkholes, and that they are prevalent. Uh, and we're talking about a sawmill, so in this case, it's about a pipe mill. The question went to uh, the cost of remediating. How is that relevant? The uh, relevancy is that uh, it's a cost that uh, it's foreseeable cost uh, for the St. Louis Trails pipeline, and that there will be remediation to sequel. It needs to be a foundation that gets back to the property. How does that relate to the ERP permit? Well, is there a, could possibly be a public interest factor? Uh, local local money is necessary. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of a Mr. Riley is right. You don't, you don't really need any more testimony about the general uh, proposition that uh, there's cars in the area that it, it's uh, to be an unstable environment for construction activities you know, in general terms. So, this, was this specifically about top clay removal? Or, I mean, no, I will. It really, uh, as I mentioned uh, yesterday, about uh, an idea of the, the cost to the taxpayer to remediate, and I think it's a current local exit. <clears throat> but, Judge, there's no evidence or foundation suggesting that the public is going to have any responsibility for remediating, remediating anything that might arise during the Safer Trail project. <clears throat> well, um, and if there is, there's no connection that the county is going to be responsible. We're looking forward in terms of standing, and property owners may may incur such liabilities, and may have to invoke the courts to uh, the cooperation on the and beyond the scope of it. But <coughs> looking forward, we have to speculate. I'm just standing there. Okay. Um, sir, did you say the, the cost incurred was 1.5 million dollars? Objection. Objection. I thought we said there. I'll allow the answer and you can use it in the argument. Not that I don't want it to go any further. You can answer that question. Between 1.4 and 1.5 million. And when did the, that project begin? Roughly, one year. Um, and the uh, property you live on, Swanee County, you said 37 years? Has that property been in your family longer than that? 120 years, 20 years, yes sir. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. 120 years, yes sir. All right, uh, thank you. I have nothing further for Mr. Gamble. Commissioner Gamble? Any other I have no questions for Commissioner Gamble. There you are. Thank you, sir. You're so good. Thank you. Thank you.